Now, another way of examining the data and taking a quick look at if everything is right is using the sorting option in Excel. Again, I'm sure many of you have used sorting before. Here, we'll just cover the basics. Let's say in this particular data set, I'd like to see the transactions ordered by week. So I can see what happened in week one first and what happened in week two next, etc. In order to sort these records by week, I need to go to the when column. I can be anywhere in this column. And then I'm going to choose sort. And again, sort can be found in the home ribbon in the editing portion. Or it can be found in the data ribbon in the sort and filter portion. I'm going to use it under the data ribbon. I'm in the when column, anywhere in that column. If I want to sort in an increasing order, week one through week four, I click on this. If I'd like to sort it from highest to lowest, from which means I start with week four and then end in week one, then I click on this, the descending sort. For now, I'm going to choose the ascending sort. And as you can see now, I can see who spent money in week one, in week two, week three, and week four. I can also do this on an alphanumeric column. I, I first see Osgur's expenditures, then Tom's, then VJ's. Or I can do it in the how much column. I look at the smallest transaction and I look at the most expensive transaction. Now, you can see that again, sort can help us figure out if there are issues with the data. For example, if I look at the ascending order for how much and I realize the smallest expenditure is a negative number, then I know that it won't make too much sense. Or if I do a descending order here and I realize the largest expenditure is, let's say, $15,000, unless we, that's a legitimate expenditure that we have done in that week, we need to fix that. Let's say I'd like to do two sorts at once, which means, let's say, I want to see how much money was spent in each week, week by week in ascending order, but then within each week I would like to see the beer expenditures first, car expenditures next, and food expenditures after. I can do this using the sort option here. I say first of all I'd like to sort by when, using the values, smallest to largest. This will give me week one, week two, week three, week four. And within each week, I'd like to add a level and I need to look at how, what the money was spent on. Again, by using the values A to Z. And if I click OK here, as you can see, I see week one, beer, car, food, week two, beer, car, week three, beer, car, food. So this gives me two levels of sorting all at once. Well, if I wanted to first sort by what and then sort by when, I can actually change the order by highlighting these and moving them up and down using these options. Another thing to watch for here is there is this My Data Has Headers option. If you have a data set where the first row has headers, attribute names, then this is always automatically checked. Another interesting feature of the sort function is you can actually create your custom sort. For example, let's say, let's, let's first delete this level. Let's say in the when, I don't want to see them as 1, 2, 3, 4, but for some reason I want to see them in 1, 3, 2, 4. Then I can go here under the order and I can create a custom list. In here I can actually enter a order of my own. I might say, let's see, I want to see week 3 first, week 2 next, week 1, and week 4. Then I hit add and then if I hit OK, as you can see now I have the weeks in a very different order than my usual ascending or descending order. 